What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. And this time, we're taking a look at Unforgiven, directed by Clint Eastwood. Unforgiven tells the story of an aging outlaw named Willie Money who takes on one more job. Now, Unforgiven is often credited as often called one of the best Western movies of its genre. And I've only ever seen it once. And on a first viewing, I am highly, highly impressed with this film. I thought overall Clint Eastwood gives an outstanding performance as the aging outlaw William Money and he's backed by really really good strong supporting cast that includes Morgan Freeman, Gene Hackman, and Richard Harris. Now there are a couple things with this movie that I didn't really like and I will address them momentarily but this movie has a lot of good <clears throat> so let's waste no time let's get right into it. So first off like I had mentioned this movie is boasted by a really good performance by Clint Eastwood who plays the aging William Money who throughout this movie many people in his youth have called him like this one of the most deadliest man a deadly the deadly man a killer of women and children a killer of everyone who had lo who had met his wife and had retired from being an outlaw and pretty much went on to live on a farm and have children and of course after his wife dies he is tasked to go on he is tasked to go on, take on one more job in a bounty because in the prologue of this movie uh, a couple of outlaws attack uh, a couple attack a prostitute and really mang mangle up her face and her friends put together a bounty to try and take these outlaws out and this young bounty goes to William Money who at first rejects the offer but then then laments that decision and ends up going to <coughs> ends up accepting the offer after he realizes that his farming business is not what it needs to be and he needs the money to support his children since he's a single father and his wife had passed away two years before the events of the film. And in the, and in the process, he brings in his uh, partner, Ned Logan, played by Morgan Freeman, to go on one last you know ride. And that's where the movie really picks up. I like the chemistry a lot with Clint Eastwood and Morgan Freeman. They have a really good rapport with one another. I buy these guys as being lifelong friends in this movie and being very close partners. And they play the aging, weathered outlaws really, really well who just want to have a simple life and don't want to go back into the game. But they're going back in, into the game pretty much against their own will. And I like it. I really, really like it a lot. <clears throat> uh, Gene Hackman plays the character called Big Bill, Little Bill, who's like the sheriff of this little town. And I like Gene Hackman in this movie. He's got that sly charisma to him, but he's also really, really brutal. And that really plays out in a lot of certain, a lot of key scenes. Uh, there's this one scene where Little Bill beats the living hell out of this character called English Bob, played by Richard Harris. And I like the character of English Bob. I like Richard Harris in the role. Though I think the character of English Bob doesn't really do much. It comes across more as a cameo role. The only thing that happens with English Bob is that his character is that of a killer for hire. And he's traveling the majority of this movie with a... Uh, with his autobiographer and when they get to this small town to do a to do a gig he gets and he gets attacked by a little bill and the movie hints that little bill and english bob have a history with one another but pretty much hackman's character beats the holy hell out of english bob and the majority of bob's scenes he's in a prison cell and then the last we see him he's riding off in a carriage back to england so the english bob character doesn't really do much i think that's a little bit of a waste because it would have been cool to have you know uh, Logan and uh, money money <laughs> going into a little bit of a rivalry with English Bob as these three men are trying to get to these outlaws and they're trying to best one another I think the movie had a missed opportunity with that because overall I think Richard Harris for what the scenes it was in gave a really good performance I like the humor he had it was very dry snark snark and snarky humor I like the weathered elegance of the uh, English Bob character and I think that he could have been utilized much, much better. And they, I think they just threw his character under the bus just to build up the little, the, uh, the little Bill character by Gene Hackman. Who, like I said, Hackman, great job. Excellent performance in this movie. And that scene with English Bob showcases his brutality. And the scene where Little Bill and his compatriots torture and kill Logan also hypes up his character as being just very vicious and brutal. And I thought Gene Hackman played the role really, really well. Uh, from a production standpoint, this movie is beautifully directed. This is a gorgeous looking movie. 
Clint Eastwood and his cinematographer really captured that wintry look of the West. This movie's got a dark, you know, gritty look to it. It's very straightforward, very straight-laced. This movie's not flashy. It's very grounded. It's very grounded, and it feels really real. And I, you can instantly tell that Unforgiven was a heavy, heavy influence on Logan, because if the Marvel movie Logan, which is one of the best X-Men movies ever made. So if, like, if you watch kind of like Unforgiven and Logan back to back, in terms of like story and the way they're shot, they're kind of very similar to one another. Very similar stories, you know. Unforgiven, like I said, it's a story of an aging outlaw going out for one last ride, and Logan is about Logan having one last mission to be a hero. So they got so they're very very similar stories, though, and both are very dark in tone. Though Unforgiven, and like I said, with Unforgiven, the tone is much more. I think a little bit more darker than Logan, in terms of. Uh, how the William Money character Money is portrayed and and, uh, and acted by, and just the his story overall, it's all really it's all it's great stuff. It's really really good. Uh, another, so those are my fathers. So from an acting standpoint, the movie is great. From a production standpoint, really really well done. Um, now, to go back to my gripes, I already explained my gripe with the English Bob character. Uh, another gripe that I have is that. The William Money character should have met its end at the end of this movie. I think this movie kind of copped itself out by giving Money, Money a kind of sort of happy ending, if you will. Now, throughout this entire movie, the movie keeps building up just how much of a wretched human being Money was in his youth, and how he rena how he gave up all that to have a normal life, so to speak, and him going back into the fray. And him having to channel who he once was, that vicious, cold-hearted killer. I think this movie should have ended with Little Bill and William Money having a Mexican-style standoff at the end of this movie, pretty much killing one another, completing Money's um, tragic life cycle. You know, he was an outlaw, then he retired and went on to have a normal life. Then his wife died. Then, out of desperation, he has to go back to the one thing he to the one thing he's good at, which is killing people. I think his story would have been would have been had a much more of a full circle if he would have died in the end. I think it would have given this movie much more of a tragic yet more satisfying ending to me. Instead, uh, <laughs> he goes to a saloon, he wipes everybody out, and he has a kind of sort of happy ending. Because the in in a, in a text call at the end, it says that he and his kids moved to San Francisco where he made a great living selling dry goods. I think this movie should have had the money character dying. I think it would have been a much much more suiting end to it and it would have fit the dark tone this movie already had and was going for. That's just me personally. That's how I would have done it. And also, on a side note, I think this movie also had really good, well done, intense gunfight scenes. Uh, Oh, the, the fight scene, I, I forgot to mention that in my positives, but the action scenes in this movie are, are really well done as well. The, the the few that they are. A little side note, very disjointed review, I know, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, to go back on track, those are just my thoughts on The Unforgiven. Overall, this is a really, really damn good Western movie. A very good Clint Eastwood movie. I give it a solid 9 out of 10. Fix those two problems that I had with the English Bob character and Money's, res and Money's Ending. This would have been a 10 out of 10 for me, at least. But other than that, 9 out of 10. Highly recommend The Unforgiven. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment sections down below. Like the video and subscribe. And I'll check you back next time for more.